investigative journalists, lawyers, and safety advocates began digging. They found that not only had Ford known about the issue, they had tested it. They had identified multiple ways to fix it. A rubber bladder, a metal shield, even just relocating the tank. But none of those fixes were approved. They were all deemed too expensive. The story caught fire in the media, just like the Pintos. The public was horrified, not just by the deaths, but by the logic behind them. People don't expect corporations to be saints, but they expect a basic level of human decency. This crossed the line. It became more than a car problem. It became a symbol of corporate greed. Congress got involved, lawsuits mounted, Ford was eventually taken to court in what became the first time a corporation was charged with criminal homicide for a defective product.